everybody. It's Joanne with ExpressionsVinyl.com and I'm just going to wait for a few people to tune in. How is everybody doing tonight? Just wanting to check in, make sure everybody's doing good. Um, yay, more people are tuning in. Thank you, thank you. It is our 12 days of crafting and today we are on day 12. One last day. Um, how many people have been able to tune into any of the ones before? Let me know. And let me know on Facebook. I haven't seen anybody pop up on Facebook yet, but I'm seeing people on Instagram. How is everyone doing? And someone said hi. I it scrolled up now and I can't see who it was, but hi back. Um, if you're just tuning in, I'm loving the crafting videos. Oh, thank you so much. Deb has, Mel has, and if I'm guessing your names wrong, I apologize. I'm just guessing off the what name pops up on there. So thank you everybody for tuning in, getting more people on Instagram, more on Facebook. Um, Trisha said she missed two. Tammy, I'm sad this is the last one. Well, this is the last one for our 12 days combined, but we did decide that we're going to keep doing them. Just not this many together. Um, I'm sure you guys love them. They're a little, I've loved doing them. They're just hard to get them together every night. So um, we will keep doing them. And I'm right now I'm going to plan on two, um, two a month, at least two a month. So yay, Deb said I needed your inspiration to get things done. Woohoo, yay. I'm glad you got some inspiration from it. And I'm starting to see a few more people on Facebook. So thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. And again, it's our 12 days of crafting, day 12. I'm Joanne with Expressions Vinyl, in case you're wondering what channel you're watching. And for the last one, it's one I'm kind of excited about and I've wanted to do this one all along. So it is deco foil. And these stock this stocking has deco foil on it. And I got this stocking at um Hobby Lobby. So I don't know if they have them anymore, but this one is from Hobby Lobby. That's where I got these. And I love, it's got, it's got kind of a fuzzy feel to it. So that adds a little bit extra. So we will get to that in just a minute, but I wanted to show you a couple other things that we've done with deco foil. I know people mentioned the other night, they were a little nervous to use it. It's really not that hard. It's a fun one to use. So we have done it on cards and Rachel and I were actually playing with cards today at work just to try a couple different things. Um, here's another one. Just thank you cards. This one we did kind of um, strips of it. So the middle one is the star and then the edges are blue. So get that a little closer so you can see. So it is a fun one. And then this one, if you've ever worked with deco foil, what I did was I crinkled the sheet up before I pressed it on here. So I crinkled the sheet and then pressed it. And then there was some spots left over white. And so I just laid um, a silver sheet on it. So that's what that one looks like. So it is very, very fun to work with. And it's not only, most people have seen it done on clothing, but I've done it a lot on cards and napkins. We've got a couple tutorials for napkins, but just wanted to give you guys ideas that it's not just for greeting cards, or not just for clothing or something like that. <laughs> Trisha, oh, OMG, I see a new obsession for me. It is kind of an obsession once you get used to it. So try it on the different cards. I also, these I did a long time ago, but this one, it's just, it's leather to do like leather cuffs if you wanted. This one is put on with the Easy Weed adhesive. So I use the Easy Weed adhesive and I'll show you that process when I do the stocking. This one I used Mod Podge and put a little bit of Mod Podge on it and then pressed um, the deco foil 
down on it and peel back and it gives you kind of a foiled look. Um, so that's another thing you can do with it. So I want to know how many people have used it? How many people have tried it? Give me um, just a heart, one of the heart emojis. Let me know how many people have tried it. Because I keep saying that not many people have tried it, but I would love to hear somebody else that's tried it and really liked it or used it a lot. So let me know if you've used it. And we have it available in a lot of different colors. I only have a few of them here. We're gonna be using silver tonight, but here's a few of the other colors. Um, red, green, what's this one called? Uh, lime, the opal, and rose gold, so. So it looks like people haven't tried it or once on a felt Easter baskets for the grandkids. Um, I have it in my cart to order. Yay, you better get it sooner than later. We keep selling out. Um, we keep getting it back in stock, but we sell out pretty quick. So if you've got it in your cart, I would go buy it pretty quick. But these are some of the colors. There's a lot more colors available. And I'm just gonna show you really quick um, a couple other things that we did with it. This one has the rainbow one, and it's black easy weed first, um, and then it's got easy weed adhesive and the deco foil on top of it. So there's another fun way to use it on a t-shirt. Then. Um, this one, we've got a couple on the front, just the deco foil on the front, where it just says deco foil. On the back, we used the um, opal, just so you could see what it looked like. On the top one, it's just straight on black. So it's a black heart and then easy weed adhesive and the opal um, deco foil. And then middle is just white easy weed with the opal. And then the bottom heart is black and then white easy weed, the easy weed adhesive, and then the opal. So there's a lot of different looks you can get with it. So there's a couple different ideas. Um, so here's the last one I'll show you and then we'll get on to the stocking. So here's just a couple different, a couple of these colors we don't have but here's some of the colors. So you can see we've got it available in quite a few different colors. They're really fun to work with. So if you have it in your cart, go get it. If you don't have it in your cart, go put it in your cart and go buy it tonight. Um, so, Kylie, I'm late, but I've been looking forward to this since day one. Um, Trisha, can you wash it like regular HTV? Yes, I would still be very careful washing it, turn it inside out, you know, gentle cycle, things like that. Uh, the same thing we recommend for everything else. But you can wash it. So, let's start working on the stockings. So again, here's the finished one, and I'm just going to do one to match this. And I've got too many things on my table, so... I already cut the snowflakes out and you will need, when you're putting it on fabric, you need easy bead adhesive. And this is what the easy bead adhesive looks like. It's kind of frosty looking. It, um, it is basically just the glue for easy bead. So it's basically just an adhesive. And you cut it the exact same way that you would cut any other heat transfer. So you'd mirror your image and then weed it and press it on like you would press any other heat transfer. Um, there's a question on face, a question from Instagram. When you download your SVG bundles, do you have them in my design space or just open them with design space as a use one? Oh, really in design space, you have to just bring one in one at a time. 
So yes, if you're using Design Space and you have a whole bunch of SVGs that you got together, you'll need to bring, you'll import one, one at a time. So hopefully that answers your question. It scrolled up on Instagram before I saw it, but they pasted it over here on Facebook for me. So thank you for asking that question. Okay, I've got my snowflakes cut out and I just, I did this at work, so I just put them in, in between this parchment paper so that I could get them home without making too big of a mess. And this is what it looks like. So just like you would use any other heat transfer. And I'm not gonna put them in the exact same spots that the other stocking was. And actually I better make sure I'm doing it the right way. So they're both facing, facing the same way. There we go. So I'll place a couple on here. And again, if you're just tuning in to Instagram or Facebook, we're doing our 12 days of crafting. And this is our last day. We're gonna do stockings, this deco foil on stockings. And right now I'm just placing my snowflakes on my stocking. And I've cut them out of easy weed adhesive. If you're doing deco foil on fabric, you will need to use easy weed adhesive. I want to make sure I've got some different ones around. I'm going to use this one here. Okay, I've got five of them on there. The other one had more, so I think I might do a partial one up top, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in just a second. So, I've got them. A couple of them go over the edge, because I want them to kind of go over the edge like this one. So they, you know, get kind of cut off at the edge there, and this one got cut off. So I've placed my stocking, placed them on there already, and I am just going to cut that extra piece off. So I don't have to worry about messing with it later, and it looks like it just kind of stops there. And it's only cutting that much off, so we're not losing a whole lot. I just wanted it to wrap the edge a little bit. And this one had a little bit. And then I'm gonna stick one more at the top, but you're only gonna see part of it. Because it's mostly gonna be hidden by the cuff. Okay, so the question was just asked, and I want everybody else to hear it. You don't actually, you don't do anything with the deco foil. What I'm doing first is my easy weed adhesive, which is basically the glue. So the easy weed adhesive is this clear sheet, and you cut and weed it just exactly like you would easy weed. And basically, it's just the adhesive that's on heat transfer. And then I will show you what we do with the deco foil. So this is the deco foil. All right, now I'm just gonna put the easy weed on. So, and for adhesive, it's just 275 for um, about five seconds. I'm gonna cut the edge of this one. Move these other snowflakes out of the way. And as always, when you're doing it, make sure there's pressure um, so it gets applied. 
So I'm going to press this. I'm on my little pressing board too. But a good hard surface will work whatever you do any of your other pressing on. So I'm going to, I've got the little mini easy press. You can do it with an iron, you can do it with a heat press. It doesn't matter. I'm just using the mini easy press today. So I need to make sure I get some pressure. It's about five seconds. And I'm going to make sure I get every snowflake. And you don't necessarily need a cover sheet like this on it. I just am not, I was a little hesitant on what it would do to the stocking itself. So that's why I used That's why I have a cover sheet over it right now. Okay, I think I've got them all. I have one, I didn't get all that one. And I wanna make sure I've got good pressure too because it's a little bit of an uneven surface. I did okay at work without the pressing pillow on this. I think, I think I did it without the pressing pillow. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember the first one. Okay, yeah. So it's just gonna peel off. The fabric underneath is a little stretchy. That's why, that's why it's stretching a little bit. The fabric is a little stretchy. Okay, yes, and Rachel is on there answering questions if I miss them. I'm trying to watch for them, but she's on there answering if, if I miss any. Or she'll send them over to Facebook where I can see those a little better. Um, oh, the question was asked, whose TikTok page? We posted a bunch of our deco foil um, projects on our TikTok page. We, I don't know if you guys knew that, we haven't had it for a while, but we do have a TikTok. So go out and check out our TikTok, follow us there, as well as Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and YouTube and every other place, Twitter. like this one didn't. I had one that cut through the cover sheets a tiny bit and now I have half the cover sheet stuck there. There we go. So once again, like I told you before, um, I'll do the crafting fails for you because I obviously have a couple of them going on right now. Don't cut through your cover sheet because then it's hard to peel anything off. Your cover sheet sticks as well. So I've been listening to a couple things lately or just, you know, my drive to and from work on um, serious. What are some of your favorite holiday songs and what are some of the songs that just throw you off every time you hear them? There's some very odd Christmas songs out there. I'm, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying there's just some very odd ones. And I've heard it now a couple times where people talking about just strange, unique Christmas songs. So I would love to hear you guys' take on some of the songs that you think are very odd and different. Somebody get us started out with one. I've got a couple in mind, but I'm not going to say them yet. Somebody get us started out with one. A very odd Christmas song. Got 
two more. It's being a little difficult only because the fabric underneath is stretchy and so it's all stretching when I do it. Deb loves Blake and Gwen's Christmas song. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> Noreen on Facebook. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. She loves it. That one's been on the list of both. Odd songs and people love it. How about the grandma song? Grandma got run over by a reindeer. That's kind of an odd song to me. Yeah, someone just said that. Kylie, I seem to only like old Christmas songs. Anything that has come out in the last five to ten years just doesn't do it for me. Yeah. I don't know that I've heard a lot of new Christmas songs. I'm the older. I don't want to admit it, but I'm the older generation. I don't feel it, but I am. Okay, last one with this stretchy fabric. Okay. There, and I don't know if you can see the snowflakes that are on there. So that's what the Easy Weed adhesive looks like just on the project. It's just kind of, you can kind of see where it's at. Now, I will add the deco foil. And it comes in these tubes and you get five sheets, five or six, five sheets. So make sure when you take it out that you separate the sheets because it feels really thin, but there's actually five sheets. I still think I have an extra one here. Okay, five. <laughs> April says for the grandkid for the grandma got run over my grandkids have listened to that song and my granddaughter said no she didn't she's right here and yeah she's right there okay when you use deco foil you've got a shiny side and you've got this kind of matte side it might be hard to see in the camera right now but you can tell the difference when you have it in your hand there's the really shiny side and the dull side kind of like tin foil. <laughs> You've got your shiny side and your dull side. You want the dull side down on the easy weed adhesive. So I'm going to be using a couple sheets because I've got a lot of snowflake here. So I've got a couple sheets. Um, I am going to cut it down a tiny bit. I could cut it down to the size of the snowflake, but these, I'm just going to do the two sheets and cut this second one down to get the last few pieces at the top. Otherwise, if I had to cut for each individual snowflake, I think I would end up going into a third sheet. Got them all covered here. As long as nothing moves, I've got them all covered. Oh, I can't see whose name it said, but I've been wondering how DecoFoil works, and I'm glad you tuned in for the tutorial because it's really simple to use. And you can use it on cards, like I showed at the beginning, but it's for fabric as well. Okay, so let me get my extra sheets out of the way, and I've just used two sheets. One is the full size at the bottom of the stocking, and the other sheet I cut a little bit to get the rest of it. So if everything stays in place, it should be good. And when you press it, you press it again um, 275, and this time you hold it for 10 seconds. Um, I'm gonna set my timer for this one. 
And this is a cold peel. So you want to wait until it cools down to peel it off. So I'll press all of these pieces and then wait until it cools down and we'll peel them off. So let me stand up and start pressing the first ones. Hopefully it doesn't move a whole lot from where I first laid it down. to my second spot. Oops, forgot to turn that on. Okay, so I've got the bottom now. Move this up to get the, oops, I see some spots I didn't get covered. Will that cover them all? Okay. Yeah, forgot my timer again. I think that was about 10 seconds. And I've got one. One, maybe two presses left. Okay. So yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. It's like a couple on Facebook. Um, oh, what am I covering the deco foil with? Just, um, you can use parchment paper, you can use multi-use paper, um, a cover sheet. I think I got all the spots. If not, we'll find out soon. There's a couple up here that I didn't get. Um, however, when this cuff comes back down, like this one, it's gonna cover it, so it doesn't matter if they got covered or not. So now, we just wait for it to cool down. So, my fancy stocking, it's looking very Tin foily right now. So as soon as it cools down, we'll be able to peel that off and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Okay, so again, um, still a couple questions on how to use it. If you're using it on fabric, it's a couple different steps. Your first step is your adhesive, your easy beat adhesive. And you've got to press that on so you work with it the same exact way you would work with any heat transfer and mirror your image and then you press it on. Once you got that pressed on, then you take the deco foil sheet and you want the matte side down. Because on deco foil, you want the side that's gonna show the really shiny side facing up. You want that matte side facing down. And that side is what's gonna stick and adhere to the easy bead adhesive that's on your project. Um, can you use deco foil on wood? Yes, you can. Um, I was gonna show this before. Full disclosure, I did not make this, but as I was going through my Christmas stuff, that's exactly what this is, is just deco foil on this piece of wood. So you could easily use it on wood. And we have a Vinyl Friday that we did a couple years ago that Starla did. And she did, she did it on wood. She put just the same way I did this one. If you were here earlier for this one, you put a little bit of Mod Podge or you put, you could use a sheet of adhesive on the wood as well if you'd rather do it that way. And then you press it on the same way that I'm doing now. So if you use the adhesive, press the adhesive on the wood and then let it, and then press your deco foil on the wood, let it cool down and peel it off the same way. Or you use Mod Podge or you could probably use like a spray adhesive, something like that. You want it 
to not be really, really sticky. It has to be tacky when you place um, you place the deco foil on it. Um, but we we do have a couple different tutorials on how to use it. Wood. It would depend on whatever adhesive you want to use. So if you're using Mod Podge or glue, you want to let it dry a bit to get um, to get tacky. Almost dry, but not quite dry, so it's still a little tacky, and then the deco foil will stick to it. So you can. Another thing I used it on, uh, we did a mixed media vinyl challenge, vinyl countdown a couple years ago, and I actually used it on a lamp. So it's just the base of the lamp, and it was the same thing. I used Mod Podge and let it dry a tiny bit and just stuck sheets of it on it, and it gave it kind of this foiled look. So it can be used on various different surfaces. I even saw somebody the other day use, um, she had done something like this, but had little, little designs in it and peeled it off. She then used a glue on her fingernails and used those excess pieces that she had peeled off on her fingernails. So it left a, the deco foil on her fingernails and then just clear coated over the top of it. So there's a lot of different uses for deco foil. It's a fun one. But yeah, keep, keep the questions going. It's a fun one. So I think this is cool enough. Let's cross our fingers, everything worked and I pressed all the spots I was supposed to press. We'll find out, but then you just peel it off. And this is what it looks like when you peel it off. Stuck to something up there. There we go. So then your piece of deco foil just ends up like this. It peels off. It's a solid sheet, so it doesn't cut through, but it just peels off the foil that was on it. And then your other sheets. so far. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So that is what it looks like once you peel it off. Now I'm going to try and get close to the camera and this where I've only pressed it one time, it's got a really shiny look to it. And hopefully you'll be able to see that on the camera. Kind of the shiny, almost just like tin foil was laid on just so you know shiny foil like that there's a good angle however if you press it a second time it gives more of a foil look kind of a little bit of a matte finish and that's what this one has I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference but this one has a little bit more of a matte finish and you can kind of see a little bit of grain in it so I don't know if you can tell the difference between, I'll put them both up together. Let me get this one ready to go. And yeah, the question just came up, if I have any unused areas on my deco foil, yes, you can use that again. So any spot that didn't get peeled off, you can use it again. So we have lots of sheets at work that we've saved that have been different projects, we've used different projects and Lots of half sheets and cut up sheets. Okay, so the one in the back is the solid foil and the one in the front is the one that's been pressed more than once. So hopefully you can see that. I can't tell if you can see all the, so you can kind of see the difference between the two. One has got that really shiny and then the other one's got kind of more of a matte finish to it. So that is deco foil. And yes, thank you for showing this. Um, now you can go buy it. Yes, you can go buy it now. It's really not that hard to use. Um, if you're just tuning in now and didn't tune in earlier, I showed at the beginning where you can use it on cards, 
you can um, use it on these pieces of leather. I tried it to do different cuffs and these cards, same process. We just use easy bead adhesive, pressed it down and then put the deco foil on top. So this is the pink, more of a pink one. You can kind of see the, I can't get the right angle, kind of the shine to it there. And then this one, we crinkled what I did. You can use the leftovers too, crinkle this up, just crinkle it up and then press it on and it gives a very fun look. And let me try and get close enough to the cameras. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got the different, you can see the green a little bit and then the silver that I put on the second layer. So, so many different things you can do with it. And then I showed, oh, this one's just, I did a strip down the center and then a blue one on top. So it gives you both the blue and the silver. People so intimidated by a deco foil, now I'm gonna to need to buy some. It's not that intimidating. It's just you've got to follow the steps. And if you use it on fabric, you've got to use easy weight adhesive. That's the step people forget. And then just make sure you put it on the right side. There's a shiny side and there's a dull side. The dull side goes down because you want the shiny side to show. So just always remember it that way. Put it down whichever side you want to show. You don't want the dull side to show. You want the shiny side to show. So put your shiny side up. And that's what all the colors will look like once you get them out. It'll have a dull side and a shiny side. Um, make sure I didn't miss any questions. Oh, good, April. April says, I'm a newbie and I love seeing how you can use the different materials. Um, I was intimidated until watching this tutorial. It's, it's not that intimidating. And that's what I, that's why I've been excited to show this because a lot of people are scared to use it, but it's not really that scary. It's a fun one to use. Um, you just follow your steps and you'll be just, you'll be just great with it. So I want, if you're going to go out and do it, I would go get the deco foil soon. Um, but it is a fun one to use. It is a very fun one to use. And I would love to see your deco foil projects. Um, so if you've done a project or if you're going to do a project, make sure you go over to Facebook and post it on our Sunday share. Every Sunday we do the Sunday share. Post it on the Sunday share. Send us a message with it. We would love to see it. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in to these 12 days of crafting. I haven't scheduled out the next, um, the next ones for next month, but most people said they wanted to do an evening one. So let me know by the raise of your hand, if you want me to do evening ones, or if you would rather have a daytime one, which one would you rather do? So let me know. Um, and I will try and do at least two a month with different, we've been trying, as we've been doing the 12 days of crafting, we've been trying to do different products we don't always use or we don't have, um, we don't have a lot of stuff that we've done with them. So I've been trying to use different types of products. So if there's a specific product you wanna see as well, let me know that. And it looks like evening. Everybody is loving the evening, so. We'll keep the evening ones going. So stay tuned on Facebook when, when we start posting on our calendar when the next ones will be. And if you're on Instagram and don't have Facebook, we will put up a blog post within the next couple weeks with what we're doing and what nights it'll be on. I'm also going to mix in a couple nights. This one kind of scares me, but it's it's going to be like our vinyl countdowns we used to do, except you guys are going to make challenge me with something. So it'll be a live like this, and I'll be sitting in my craft room, and you guys just start throwing out ideas to me, and that's what I've got to make. So that's going to be one of those coming up too, which should be 
interesting, could be good, could be bad. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. Um, but I always, I always loved doing those challenges. So I think that would be a fun way to have all of you guys help me with those challenges. So we'll get that scheduled out. Watch for a blog post in the next couple weeks. If you don't have Facebook, if you are on Facebook, just check our events and we'll put them there. Um, I mentioned a calendar. Is it something you could print out or see online? It will be, we'll have it in our blog. Um, or we'll have it on Facebook in our events. So in Facebook on our main page, you can see our events. And Kylie says that stresses me out for you. I'm okay under stress. I don't know if you've gone back to watch any of those vinyl countdowns. I did okay. I tend to be very quiet when I get stressed and do it. So that's my, that's the hardest part for me. I'll have to try and remember to talk to you guys as I'm, as I'm doing the challenge, but reading your comments and designing the project and showing you exactly what I'm working with. But you'll just throw out, out ideas. If you want me to do a t-shirt, I'll find a t-shirt around here and grab it and do it. If you want me to do like a Starbucks cup, I've got one or two of those here, a wood sign. We could find some stuff. I mean, I may be limited on a few things, but we could find some stuff. So thank you everybody for tuning in. And if we don't do another live before Christmas, have a very happy holiday and have a Merry Christmas. Um, stay tuned for emails and things coming up. I'll just say that there will be things coming up. Um, and thank you so much for the lies. Very helpful. Helpful. Have a blessed night. Thank you. Thank you again. And have a very happy holiday season. A Merry Christmas. And we will talk to you soon. Watch your emails. You'll get a lot and watch your emails. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening.